Benmid comes in with a CPU question related to his GPU upgrade, and he asks, Tech and Rogue, love the channel, well thank you. Recently upgraded from a 2080 Super to a 4090 for a Wii upgrade. Got a 5900X, 32 gigs of RAM on an X570. He wants to know should he wait for Zen 5 or go to Zen 4 now, then to Zen 6, sending the Tim Tams. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. I'm about to say something very controversial, which many people have argued with me. You will be bottlenecked by that CPU at any resolution. Well, okay, maybe not 8K, but nobody's playing at 8K. On 4090. With a 4090 at any resolution, 1080p, 1440p, or 4K, Zen 3 will bottleneck you. It'll bottleneck you no matter what your settings are. It is a bottleneck. I have tested this. I have shown this footage in the past. We have done a lot of games on Zen 3, Zen 4, Raptor, Alder, etc. It is real. Even at 4K, you may very well see a 20 plus percent bottleneck. Even at 4K. Ouch. I just had a tweet. Oh my goodness, when was this? This was today, actually. Today? <laughs> this was today when somebody said to me, I'll tell you one thing. I just finished my new 13900K build and moved my 4090 over from my 5950X to this chip. You were right. Even the 5950X is bottlenecked at 4K. Putting this PC on my 65-inch OLED, my eyes are melting. <laughs> now, in fairness, he said 13900K, not Zen 4 Ryzen 9 7950X. But They're almost interchangeable. A, a 7950X and a 13900K is, they're within a rounding error. They're about 3% apart. I mean, it's, it's a meaningless difference. I have a 13900K editing PC that I actually use at the office. I stream on Twitch on. I have a 7950X at home. They're both monsters. So you've got a Ryzen 9 5900X, not even a 5950X, a nope. 5900X. And you just upgraded to a RTX 4090. I know it's expensive and you may not want to make an immediate upgrade, but you've got $1,600 GPU money, man. Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. Zen 5 will not be out for a full year. Do you want to live with your bottlenecks for a full year? You could wait to go to Zen 5, but it's the same platform you can buy today. Yep. You could buy it today Enjoy and then it. either move to Zen 5 in a year and if you decide to upgrade to a 5090, you probably will need to. Or you wait for Zen 6, mm -hmm. and then you'll do both a GPU and an upgrade, a GPU and a CPU upgrade at the same time, but you can keep your current platform. I strongly encourage you to buy a really decent um, X670E motherboard. Not a $200 board, not a $150 board. You're gonna buy a six to $700 CPU, you've got a $1,600 video card, buy a three to $400 R motherboard. They're expensive, AMD, AM5 ports just cost a lot. I would look at something like the X670E ProArt Creator from Asus, that's the board I have at home, and it's really nice, works great, no issues. You can take a look at, oh shoot, you can look at the gaming, uh, the uh, Aorus Master from Gigabyte, the Carbon from MSI, the Tai Chi from ASRock. There's quite a few. You want a premium board because if you're going to keep it and then do a Zen 6 upgrade, you may have that board for the next six to seven years. Splurge, spend an extra hundred bucks, spend 600 bucks on the CPU, 400 bucks on the board, it's a thousand bucks, which look, we're doing a live stream as we're recording this on a $750 build. And here's a question about a not $750 build. Definitely not. So it's, it's a great example of the difference in experience between this price point and this price point, which is fine. Some people have this budget, 
When I was younger, I had this budget. I'm older, I have a better budget. That's just life. Yep. I encourage you all to work hard, save your money, follow Papa Dio's advice, and that you can buy really nice <laughs> things. But if you've got $1,600 GPU money, a thousand bucks for a CPU and motherboard, but that motherboard will get reused for Zen 6, buy 64 gigs of RAM, it'll cost you about 250-ish dollars, 200 and whatever dollars, for 64 gigs of DDR5 6000. Yep. Get a two terabyte XS 70 for $87 as a boot drive. Mm -hmm. And Bob is your uncle. You have got a beast for a minimum of half a decade. Maybe longer with a Zen 6 upgrade, just like AM4 did. Yep. What do you want to add to that? No, I think you covered everything. Zen 3 came out in 2020. We are in the second half of 2023. Three, correct. He just put the best mankind has to offer into his system. Yep. He now needs to put the best CPU correct. mankind has to offer. Yep. And I, it does not make any difference to me whether he does a 7950X3D or a 13900K. Mm -hmm. They'll both be beast level mode. Correct. Thank you very much for the question. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.